I was out walking earlier today on this beautiful spring day. I had walked a little further than I had realized and decided it would be good to go home a little bit different way that might be shorter. Like most busy people, the shelter in place rule has made it harder to keep up my normal fast paced life. This change is stressful at first, but others were walking the neighborhood too and I realized they were probably perplexed by stopping their routine in midstream as well. We were all keeping our distance, most with headphones, some with dogs or kids in tow. Yet I'm sure that we had a common goal to get out of the house and get some sunshine and exercise, trying to forget the things sitting at our desk at our office. Anyway, I had walked far and I was getting a bit thirsty and tired. As I rounded the corner, I noticed something new. A family had set up a little library nook on a post in front of their house next to the sidewalk. It had an open glass door and inside were children's books and novels. On the bottom shelf, there were water bottles and sports drinks, fruit cups and granola bars and a few other little helpful things like hand sanitizer, hand soap, some packages of tissue, and even a roll of paper towels. The sign said it was Evelyn's library and aid station. The little girl couldn't celebrate her seventh birthday like usual, so she wanted to do something for the neighborhood during this difficult time. Her note said, take whatever you need in her little girl handwriting. A drink and a book, that's what I needed. This little girl had companioned me on my journey. My eyes somehow just flooded with tears. In today's reading, we hear from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is on a journey too. He declares clearly and plainly that the Lord is with him and companioning him. Jeremiah says, the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. He acknowledges the experience and witnesses to us the Lord's mighty presence with him in his time of trial. It is a strong reminder for us that the Lord is near to us during these difficult days in our lives, in our country, and in our world. We've all seen the news and we know how serious it is. But Jeremiah speaks of the Lord's presence with him in his distress. He says, Lord, you have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. The responsorial psalm today also reflects to us the declaration of God's protective love shared by Jeremiah. We respond to Psalm 18 with the phrase, In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. It continues, I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, my horn of salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord. In a small way, the little library that I came upon, given freely by the heart of a little girl and her family, is a reminder of God's care and love during this journey that we are all taking together. Their generosity of heart is God's tangible sign that God works in the world through the caring and love we offer to each other. Jeremiah wished to be a witness to the companioning love of the Lord of hosts. This little library was a sign of God's goodness to me, and I, like Jeremiah, want to be a witness to it. How can the Lord work companioning love through us? How can we each witness to God's companioning love? I love you, O Lord my strength, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my shield, my horn of salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord. <laughs>